Mm. Zap! Hey! The last Outrider here with the next part of Who Are the Black Region? A New Master. The transition from the Sons of Horus to Black Legion was not instantaneous. Abaddon gave the Legion this new name in the aftermath of purging the clones. However, it would be many years before they grew into a force worthy of his ambitions. Though the majority of the Sons of Horus had accepted the dominion of Abaddon, the Black Legion was yet untested. Centuries of warfare against other traitor space marine legions had transformed them almost beyond recognition. And the paradigms of power within the Eye of Terror had shifted. Gone forever was the single unified force that Horus had led against the Emperor, replaced with bickering warbands struggling over scraps or lost to hedonistic excess. Abaddon felt only contempt for the space marines he had once called brothers, disgusted by the wanton emperor's children, the moribund and sluggish death guard, and the mindless, raging world eaters. Just as the traitor legions had fallen from their former glory, so too had their primarchs. Most of them were completely consumed by the corrupting might of chaos. Abandoning their legions, many of the primarchs had already ascended to demonhood, aligning themselves with one of the ruinous powers and accepting their dark promises. It was a path Abaddon could have walked himself, rising to be a god within the warp, but one that would have limited his existence beyond the Eye of Terror and pushed ultimate vengeance beyond his grasp. Abaddon started expanding the ranks of the Black Legion consumed by his desire to launch an assault against the Imperium. Word spread across the Eye of Terror that any space marine who bowed before the Despoiler would be granted a place in his Black Legion and a part in his grand plan for revenge against the Emperor. Many of the other traitors mocked and derided Abaddon for his arrogance. However, the endless wars and corruption of the warp had sown disillusion in the hearts of others, and the promise of a place in a legion led by a warlord determined to continue the war against the Imperium appealed to a great number. The insulting defeat at the hands of the loyal Space Marine legions was still fresh in the minds of many, and they hungered for a chance to spill the blood of their former blooders. Other legionaries didn't care whose blood they spilled, only that Abaddon could lead them to worlds where they could tear piteous screams from the dying and crush the corpses of their foes underfoot. The legend of Abaddon was spreading, and their traitor space marines, that respected only strength and cruelty, were drawn to the despoiler. His aura of carnage and dark majesty already marking him out as the warlord to rule all others. Abaddon soon earned an enduring reputation amongst the legions for the terrifying vengeance he visited upon those who betrayed him. 
Some traitor legionaries and demonic warlords attempted to use the Black Legion for their own ends, infiltrating its ranks with false promises of loyalty. The word bearers, champion, Rhinax, the unspoken, thought to use the Legion as hosts for his demon allies, infecting them with demon spore and letting the warp take root in their minds. Pergor, the putrescent, a favored general of Nurgle, tried to turn black legionaries into plague carriers, smearing their armor with the remains of his most vile experiments and sending them into battle, coughing bloody ribbons of mucus. The slanishy sorcerer, Hexa Gallimere, schemed to convert the legionnaires of the emperors to the emperor's children, whispering promises in the ears of those that had sworn fealty to the Black Legion and trying to turn them against the despoiler. In the end, the heads of all these champions adorned Abaddon's trophy rack. Their warbands flayed, and their fortresses torn down stone by stone. Eventually, only the very foolish or terminally insane would break their oath to Abaddon the Despoiler. Abaddon was a master of manipulation and knew just what combination of fear, greed, and vanity would sway the minds of men. Warlords would come before Abaddon merely to verify his, this champion of chaos and his black legion for themselves, but found themselves scorching their armor black and joining his cause. As the numbers of the Black Legion swelled, Abaddon ravaged the worlds of the Eye of Terror, claiming more warriors and slaves for his cause. This time, the Despoiler was careful not to create such an easy target for his foes. The Black Legion remained a fleet-born formation, slipping like shadows across the warp. Aboard the vengeful spirit, Abaddon led his war against the other legions and their allies and their enemies, creating an army to rival any force in the galaxy. Such is the nature of the traitor legions, that no warlord could ever rule them all but Abaddon hoped to unite them towards a single goal, as Horus had once done. The Black Legion could only hope to destroy the Emperor and his Perium with the help of the other traitors, combining to brush aside their enemies and launch in a single massive assault on Terra. This was Abaddon's dark dream the path that would shape his destiny for centuries to come. <clears throat> and now, a little side story called Abaddon's Chosen. Rather than a single force with a single leader, the Black Legion would become a mighty host of many warbands and warlords. Within this host, all would swear complete allegiance to Abaddon. And through an inner circle, he would lead them with absolute dominion. These became known as the Chosen of Abaddon. They would be his favored generals, standing above all others and enacting his dark will, a warped shadow of the Morn Veil in which he had once served. 
the Lord Ravager would lead his ground forces fearlessly and always be in the vanguard of the assault. The Lord Deceiver would guide his fleets with esoteric visions so that they might always find their prey no matter where they hide. The Lord Corrupter would spread fear and corruption before the fleet and also keep the lesser warlords in line through brutality and terror. The Lord, the Lord Purgator would harvest worlds for slaves and ensure that whatever the Black Legion set foot, the taint of the Dark Gods remained. Abaddon also formed from the Black Legion's ranks a personal bodyguard known as the Bringers of Despair. Among other dark titles, selected from the strongest and most vicious of his Terminator space marines, these fearsome warriors would become a terrifying sight, their arrival announcing the presence of the Despoiler himself. Ooh, next time! What do you think's gonna happen? That's a good question. How about Dark Pacts with Chaos? Until then, bye. <laughs>